Well, we have Black Friday, Small Business Saturday, and Cyber Monday. And now we have Giving Tuesday. It's a new campaign to get people to give to charities instead of spending money on gifts. News 13's Cheryl Barber talked with people and local organizations who are adopting this idea. Cheryl, where did this begin? Well, it all started with a Jewish community center in New York and is now supported by numerous nonprofits and corporations. Local charities here are signing on and finding that support. Right now we have several projects that are ongoing. Riverlink director Karen Cragnolan has spent 25 years forging a chain of green spaces along the French Broad River. Now she's offering donors a new way to give in the Christmas season. Oftentimes you're getting a pair of socks that you wouldn't wear on a bet or a sweater that doesn't fit. So what a great thing to do on Tuesday after Black Friday, after Cyber Monday. Riverlink's Giving Tuesday provides $50 donors a deed of support in the name of a friend or family member. To think about the people on your gift list and to give them a gift, in many cases, a gift of forever. Those gifts include new greenways that will continue the river path and provide new parks along the way. The size is right, the color is right, and we're thinking that it's a wonderful national campaign. I love the idea of having Giving Tuesday. Kira Yan says she has a new approach to gift giving that shares that gift with the entire community. It combats the commercialism of Cyber Monday and Black Friday, and it starts the season out so much better if we can put the focus on those in need. Kira and Chloe love this park, and she sees a new way to encourage her idea of the real reason for the season. It's another aspect of not being selfish. You can't expect other people to do these great projects and then come along when it's all done and benefit from it. That's unfair. Now, one advantage for the donors is the tax deduction that they can take for giving to a charity in someone else's name. Reporting live in Asheville, I'm Cheryl Barber, News 13.